Hello, hello, my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden not your heart, for I'm just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for the likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything's greatly appreciated, my love bugs. So let's go ahead and get into it, all right? We'll be doing our next energy read in the energy of Taurus, okay? So um, this this reading is welcome to anyone and everyone. Uh, the only thing in this reading that's just for my Taurus collective are going to be these lucky numbers. So after we get these numbers, we'll get into it for everybody, all right? But as of uh, for right now, if Taurus is your sun, moon, or rising, or happens to be in your chart somewhere else, these will be your lucky numbers. Right. Ooh, it bounced back it bounced back all right somebody's trying to bounce back maybe get back into someone's life throw some deep oh excuse me throw some decoys in the way how many times did i have to burp and i couldn't get it out y'all went outside for two seconds and a mosquito towed me up so what i'm also thinking is that this is a blood-sucking individual that doesn't want to let someone go. They want to throw decoys in their way, uh, but we'll get there. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the lucky numbers first. <laughs> I don't know why today, like, they've been like, forget that. Get into the reading. No, let's get some lucky numbers. Bring some good luck in your life, all right? Taurus, your lucky numbers are 44, 65, 4, 1, 52, 26, 34 and 46 okay once again 44 65 4 1 52 26 34 and 46 i'm telling you this person does not want you to concentrate this person wants you to they want to leech off of you they want whatever is yours whatever you got they want it <laughs> what all right let's get into it Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, good communication, and divine protection. Yeah. Some secrets are coming out. Or someone... Someone's trying to hide the fact that they're very focused on someone else's social status, on their upgrade. They're focused on their wealth, okay? This person maybe was someone who used to extort you in the past, used to take from you in the past. Now this blood sucker wants back in your energy because you're going toward a divine union, all right? You have partnered up or you have be, you gotten on the same frequency as your divine partner and this karmic was able to pick up on that and they're losing their mind because they know that your social status is going to go up, your wealth is going to go up, and you're not going to want to be, you're not going to want to deal with them. All right, give me something on poison drinks. This person used to get this, okay, this person used to get your attention in the past by drinking. Maybe you guys used to go to parties and you, you, you guys would drink. Maybe this person would always have some drink around them. Maybe this person would always encourage you to drink. Either way, that was how they kept themselves binded to you by putting something in your drink. All right. Now, they used to like to sleep around, but they can no longer sleep around now. That's why they need some money from you because they're, they, whatever, for some reason, yeah, she, okay, so she can't sleep around either, why the freak do I keep hearing this, y'all? Different people speaking in different conversations at once, like, y'all gotta calm down on the spell work, I got a job to do, damn, all right, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, every time, y'all think I be joking, I hear, I hear a lot. Clear, clear audience is no joke. All right. Um. Yeah, this this person is very concerned about your wealth and your social status. Now they want to be a part. They want to be a third party to you, but they were third partying with your friends in the past. So this person is for the streets. They were sleeping around with a lot of different people in the past. Um. And they want to now come back and third party in this divine union. They think that they can do some sort of sex magic like they used to do in the past. It's very focused on someone being naked. They feel like their body is just top notch. And if they get naked in front of this masculine or if he just get him a chance to let them get naked, then they're going to win. They're going to win. All right. So this person wants to meet you or meet up with you or meet up with this masculine at a party. You put it how it goes. This reading is for a masculine, okay? But if this so happens to be your masculine that this reading is talking about, and this is some third-party side bitch who just can't, you know, sit it on down, you know, put the reading where it goes, okay? But if this is for my masculines, you got somebody from your past who's on your ass. This is a person that you liked her body, all right? Maybe she had success in stripping. Maybe she got success in the past. So 
soul tribe, divine masculine, the match. She wants to match up with you. She feels like she's your match. But she sells vagina. So this is the karmic of the divine masculine, like I said, who wants success in this third party relationship. She want to go to some party. All right. She plotting with some other people to get this masculine to some party or get him to come to some sort of celebration so she can show up booty hole ass naked and try to change um change this masculine's mind about being with this other feminine but she's jealous because this masculine is looking everywhere but at her he's sick of her like rolling eye energy like girl you obsessed get the fuck away from me he's he, he's dodging her um and it's not hard for him to do because he's divinely protected from this feminine all right she just has a really big ego and she's codependent because she can't trick off anymore and get any more money from other people. She's jealous that he actually doesn't want to give his money this time or his seed to her. He wants to give it to someone else. And she can't betray him because he she can't even come in his energy. All right. She's upset. She didn't expect him to go toward this divine feminine. She didn't expect him to find somebody that was just for him. She thought she was going to be able to continue to cheat around with him. Okay, because I'm hearing she was in love with someone else, but she just wanted this man on the side for his money. She didn't care about him. She knew he liked to drink, and so she tried to trick him. She did some sort of hex in order for him to be entertained by her. Okay, so she was doing some sort of hexes so she can dance for this man. She could be a stripper. She could be a dancer. She could just be in the club and think her body's all that. She thinks moving her ass cheeks is going to get this man's uh, attention. She does this on social media, so maybe she liked to get on social media and dance and shake her ass naked or whatever. She had a voodoo doll in order to gain favor. Or she was trying to get a voodoo doll on this masculine by getting something of his and using it inside of this voodoo doll so that she can also control him and make him do what she wanted him to do. She's in love with a whole nother man. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> in love with an entire another man. And she just want this man for money. And she's upset because he's not going to give it to her. Yeah, she's suffering a lot of misfortunes. And she's very jealous because he doesn't give to her anymore. What else? Because she's sick. She got an STD out here. She got an STD. That's why she can't trick off no more. This man cussed her ass out. <laughs> what? five of swords for trying to sleep with him and give him that shit i'm telling you this man cussed this girl out because she was trying to sleep with him and give him that shit that's why he cut her ass off okay that's why he doesn't hang around her he's nowhere near her he don't go nowhere he knows that she's gonna be because she's gonna try to get him in the bed and he's gonna have to stand his ground and freaking it's kind of like he don't want to openly just say bitch you got that shit but he has already said bitch you got that shit <laughs> i know that sounds funny but instead of saying bitch you got that shit like nah i'm not fucking with you i don't fuck with you i don't want none of that stop calling my phone i'm ignoring you i'm blocking you because i know you trying to trap me because you got that shit all right this man is spiritually upgraded on her ass even when she tries to take him away from that what's up with this deck y'all give me a second nope holy spirit say read it all right here we go this emperor does not want to reconcile with this woman all right, he knows that she's a liar. He knows that all she wants is money. She wants to also control his judgment by getting him to stop talking to you. And he's going to continue to move forward with you. And so she's depressed because he no longer wants to lay with her. And he's breaking bondage with her. Okay, this woman is very, very... Okay, so shit, he probably is going to end up telling her, bitch, you got that shit because she has a very nasty mouth, very volatile, very rude, very demeaning. Okay, she tried these tactics on him in the past in order to continue to take opportunities from him, but that's not working anymore. Okay, she cannot take an opportunity from this masculine because he don't give a damn about her opinion. He don't give a damn about what she got to say. Uh, she used to use like mind games and shit on him to try to control him and stop him from moving forward to keep him stagnant. But as long as she had him binded to her, then she would be able to move forward. But that bind is broken. Okay, everything's being reversed. Her magic is no longer working. Because he met up with his divine partner, okay? Y'all y'all done got together. Y'all done reconciled. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy. And this woman is jealous and having misfortune because she keeps trying this sex magic shit with this damn doll. And it's not fucking working. She heartbroken that this man even came across to you. She's upset that he decided to drop her and come towards you and have a brand new cycle. Um, <laughs> Drop her come toward you okay she's receiving bad karma for trying to do something against this masculine that's why she's having misfortunes 
and she will not and she's like really really not happy like nothing in her life is happy she's pretty fucking miserable all right she's also feeling weak because of the continuous spell work and also her health condition uh she tries to go around and tell people that she is of god and you are of the devil but we all know that that didn't work okay so i guess she went to try to tell this mask and then that bitch she practiced that bullshit anyway she ain't gonna do nothing but suck your ass dry she ain't gonna do nothing but curse your ass or some stupid shit she was trying to say but she only said that to try to stop this man from coming towards you and that didn't work she couldn't deceive him she couldn't sneak around and say no stupid shit okay <clears throat> oh excuse me all right this woman wanted this masculine to just give her my just give her the control over him she wanted him to be weak and just give his control to her like just be like yeah you're right i'm wrong you know i shouldn't have did this i should just kiss your ass i should this i should this man don't want to work for her this man don't want to partner up with her this man don't want to talk to her this man don't want to see her none of that shit she's not able to cause a stalemate with this magic because she can't do it anymore it's not working all right <clears throat> Her betrayal was exposed. And, yeah, her, her, okay, so, yeah, her betrayal was exposed to why she was talking to this masculine or treat, d demeaning this masculine like that because that is a domination tactic that she was trying to use to see if he was still weak, okay, if she still had control, still had that bind, and she doesn't. She found out that that must mean since everything I tried for them is not working, then it's coming back to me. And that's why she's suffering this misfortune because she's realizing she doesn't have any protection. She doesn't have any stability. She's not going to get any money. Nobody wants to partner up with her. Everybody knows she's a motherfucking liar. And she's spying on this man trying to stop him at any cost. She's working with other individuals to try to set him up because she's upset he's being recognized for being a good man. Okay, so again, this is just like a masculine, a damn karmic, uh, domineering ass grand. Okay, this woman is a granddaughter's narcissist. She's also a, curvo a, cur a covert narcissist when it comes to the feminine she don't want to tell the feminine nothing she feel she want to be fake with the feminine that this masculine is going to but when it comes to this masculine this woman is a grade a narcissist she don't give a damn she want to talk to him crazy because i guess he let her do that in the past um and people maybe saw that and she's upset because she couldn't keep him down couldn't like basically if she could mess up his self-confidence then he wouldn't be who he is today um, it wouldn't have the strength to move on from her or bring you this love offer. And now that you show him your appreciation, like he really feels like you show him appreciation and it's genuine. That's why he wants to bring you this love offer. That's why he's going to give you this opportunity. He's going to give you some money so you can move off the calmer waters, maybe with him away from these people. You guys might be relocating. Okay. And getting a brand new start and having success. So, hey, <laughs> hey. All right, y'all, let me get some alcohol for this freaking bump because I'm upset. I'm going to go check the mailbox for two freaking seconds, bro. And this motherfucker did not let up. So whoever this feminine is, y'all know because she just won't let up. All right, this is it. This is all my little bugs. I hope you got what you needed from this, my Taurus booze. And if you enjoy these readings, check out the last ones I did and come meet me in the next one.